My name is Neve Sharkey and I'm an author and illustrator and a picture bookmaker and also laureate in an oak, which is the children's laureate in Ireland. And I'm here at the illustration cupboard in London um, to celebrate my time as laureate and also my time as an illustrator and making picture books over the last 15 years. Um, so I was going to show you a few of uh, my, my pieces. This is a piece that, um, that I made for Ibi, Ar for Ibi International, which is for International Children's Book Day. Um, and it was to celebrate children's books all over the world just in April. And it was published in over 150 countries. So I thought this would be a nice one, a key piece for the exhibition as well, to celebrate my time. And I had an exhibition in 2008 back um, in the illustration cupboard, and it was to celebrate my Cinderella pieces. Um, and I had a solo show at that time. So here's kind of some of those pieces from that time. And a lot of my books, I work with oil paints um, on a gesso surface, and a lot of my pictures, um, they're all done in that style. But I've also, in this exhibition, done lot, had some concept artwork and different little pieces that you know would show how I got the ideas and how I would work things out. And in a lot of my books as well, I have monsters. So this one here as well is Huggle Monsters, Huggle Wugs, originally from a book that I did with Walker Books back in 2007, I think, but now we've made it into a children's uh, show for Disney Junior. And these are some of my early books as well, The Gigantic Turnip, um, which was my first picture book that I illustrated back a while ago, I would say. And this is from Jack and the Beanstalk. These two pieces are from Jack and the Beanstalk and their oil and gesso as well. And I also love kind of experimenting, doing different things. So I did a series of monsters this year um, I was telling John, just I got a new box of Sennelier oil pastels and just kind of had fun with them. And I just love kind of, you know, playing with colour and monster characters I keep going back to all the time. Um, and these are some of my other pieces. In the show as well, I want some pieces that would be um, from a good while ago. And so this one here is the from Enchanted Irish Tales with Mercier Press, and it was one of the first books that I illustrated. And when I started illustrating back in those days, there wasn't very much work in Ireland, and there was some very small kind of publishers there. Um, and Mercier Press gave me kind of my first break for, for books. And it was nice, my first commission for a UK publisher was when they saw this cover down in a bookshop in Dingle and asked me to illustrate the gigantic turnip. And these are some concept artwork again from Hogawags um, and um, I would do all of the colour work just in watercolours, you know. This And with Huggle Mo Monsters and with Huggle Wugs, I tried to base them on my own family, the Sharkies, who are um, a big rum bushkis um, family of monsters. That's my mum and dad. So this little guy here is Dado, and he's kind of based on my dad. Um, and then I, it was great um, to be able to m mix this el uh, exhibition with... Um, some work from Illustrators Ireland. So I'm a member of Illustrators Ireland and it's a non-profit organisation in Ireland and we have about 70 members and it was great for me to be able to have an exhibition in London and bring you know, some people, some Irish illustrators with me. And part of my kind of remit as Laureate Nanogue, as the Children's Laureate, is to raise the profile of illustration. So we have some of the most amazing and illustrators and picture bookmakers in Ireland working at the moment. So it was great to be able to invite them over to London to share the exhibition with me. So this is Steve Simpson, who's uh, an English illustrator living in Dublin. Um, and Alan Clark, who works, I think he's very like Aubrey Beardsley of our modern times, and he does everything in pen and ink and really delicate, wonderful work. And Michael Emberley, just below, he's an American illustrator, and his father was um, his father was a, a, a very famous illustrator who's won kind of the Caldecott, Ed Emberley. And just the Ray Finson, again, we've lots of different styles and different techniques, so it's wonderful to see, you know, from from watercolors to oil pastels. This is one of, one of my favorites as well, P.J. Lynch, who's a real influence to me when I started and really helped me uh, when I, in my early days in illustrating. <laughs> so I'm delighted to be here. It's just wonderful to be back in London in the illustration cupboard.
And so I'll hope you pop in and, and see the work.